Okay then, before I start today's FSU Way and Arcade Setup Guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content on my channel, just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide like this one you're watching today, and it also helps my channel out a lot too. So I've covered most Amiga emulators on my channel, as well as C64 emulators too. Something I've never done is the arcade mode of FSUA. Now from 3.1 FSUA, that is, onwards, we don't have the ability to easily use arcade mode anymore. There is a way to do it, but it's pretty complex, and most people just want to play some Amiga games, and FSUA is probably one of the easiest ways to play Amiga games. And of course, there's a fork from WinUA, which a lot of people, especially newbies, don't like too much. So let's get into FSUA. What we're going to do is just take a look at the FSUA website. And if we scroll down, we can see just here, FSUA arcade builds are not done for version 3.1 yet, like I just said. So we can download an older version of this, which is 3.0.5. And this was the last release to feature that arcade mode straight out the box. We also need some Kickstart ROMs to, of course, power our Amiga games. So you can buy those from Amiga Forever. And we got a few different versions of Amiga Forever. We got Value, Plus, and Premium. Now, I covered this as a showcase and a brief setup guide some time back in. Amiga Forever really is a great front end. I'm not selling it. I'm just saying that it's a really good way to also get your Kickstart ROMs, which you can use on other systems such as FSUA today. So do take a look at that. Next thing we're going to need is to register with this website. This is openretro.org. Now, in the past, people's told me that they can actually go onto this website. So I imagine it's either your web browser, try changing to a different web browser to use it, or maybe just check back another time. Websites from time to time do go off live for maintenance, that type of thing. So what we're going to do then is go into this. I've got FSUA 3.0.5 just here, and this is in a zip folder. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop, new folder, and I'm going to call this FSUAE. And I'm going to just drag those contents inside of that one. Okie dokes. And what we're going to do next then is go into FSUAE. And here we go. So first things first, what we need to do is just briefly launch this to create a folder, which is going to end up in documents. But I'm going to show you that. So here we go. All we need to do now is just close this down. And what I'm going to do next is just go to my documents folder. And in here, you're going to find it's generated a new folder called FSUAE. If we just go inside of there, what I'm going to do whilst I'm here is create a new folder. So right click new folder, and I'm going to call this folder WHD load. And yes, we can use ADF files for FSUA, but really of this day and age, WHD load games are the way to go. If you're new to Amiga emulation, then WHD loads just takes away millions and millions of disk images, ADF disk images, and puts it all into one. So one game, one disk, as it were. So if I go into WHD load folder, I've got a few Amiga games here, and these need to be in .zip format. If we go inside of here, as you can see, this is WHD load. So I'm going to just drag Golden Axe, Kid Gloves, and Killing Game Show into that WHD load folder. Next thing I'm going to do is actually configure a controller for this. So I've got an Xbox Bluetooth controller, and to pair this, I'm just going to type into my search bar just here, Bluetooth. And you should find Bluetooth in other device settings. If we go in here, and I'll just turn my Xbox controller on, I'm then going to go to Add Device, Bluetooth, and I'm just going to wait for this to pair. And there we go, Xbox Wireless Controller, left click, and done, and close out there. So we can also now delete that FSUA 3.0.5 zip folder because we've extracted that. So we're going to open up FSUAE and you're going to find arcades just there as well as launcher. We can't use arcade yet because we've not imported any games. Let's go to launcher first. Now, once we're inside of FSUAE, we're going to go up to the Amiga tick at the top just there. 
if I left click on that one, what we need to do first is just go to login register. And let me just remind you, you do need to sign up with Open Retro Game Database. This is going to work alongside FSUA and it's going to get us artwork for our games as well with some bits and pieces of information. So let's just do that. We're going to go back to the tick. We're going to go to login register and log into your Open Retro account. So I'm just going to type in my email and password. And once you've done that, it's going to say update in database. This can take around a minute or two, but just be patient and let it do a thing. Okay, so once that's finished scanning, we're going to find lots of games on the side just here. As it says at the bottom, it says download game. And it also advised us that we need to import Kickstart ROMs, which is why I recommended you to go to Amiga Forever. So what we're going to do is go back up to the Amiga tick at the top. And from here, we're just going to go down to import kickstarts. So there's a couple of versions of Amiga Forever. If you've got a physical disc of this, a CD or a DVD, just pop in your disc into your drive now and just browse for where your kickstart ROMs are. If you've not got a CD or DVD version, but just digital, then just do what I'm going to do and go to browse. And then just locate where your kickstarts are. And once you've found your kickstarts, just go to import. And once that's done, we can close out of here now and close that again. So next up, we're going to go back up to the tick. And from here, we need to tell FSUA where our games are. So of course, I put those into my documents folder. I created a folder called WHD load. If I go to settings and what I need to do is just make sure that that WHD load folder is listed in file database. So I'm going to go to plus and then go to documents. And here's my FSUA folder. And if I just scroll down, I find WHD load folder here, which I've just added a minute ago. Select folder, and that's now been added. What we can do next then is just close this down for now. Go back up to the Amiga tick, update file database. And you'll find that that documents folder I've just added is also included here. So if we just hit scan, Okay, we can now close out of here. And if I then go up to the top and just select games, and I'm also going to go back to that tick again, and I'm going to go to settings, game database, and under database games, I'm going to put available games. And here's my free games. So let's just test if everything's working. So we've imported kickstart files, and we've of course got three of these WHD load .zip games. If I open up kids gloves, So as you can see, it's narrowed it down to the Amiga 1200 model to use this game with. And my Xbox controller is actually working straight away, so I'm not going to configure it. My select button or the equivalent of select button is pausing the game. And if I press the equivalent of the start button on my Xbox controller, the one with the three horizontal lines, that's going to bring up the FSUA panel on the side where we can change different options here, such as input options. And for example, if you're using ADF games with FSUAE, then if it asks for this too, we can easily swap it here from removable media. So I'm going to press my start button and we're just going to close this down for now. I'm using my D-pad just to go up and down. So what we need to do next then is actually boot this into full screen. So if we go back up to the Amiga logo, settings, video, and start FSU way in full screen mode, I'm going to turn this one on. And if I go to open up a game again, this time I'm going to use the Killing Game Show, absolute classic. And here we go. So we're now booting into full screen mode.
Okay, so everything's working fine, plus we got this booting into full screen mode, so let's check out the arcade mode. So we're going to go back to the FSUA folder and just launch from the arcades.executable. And here we go, so we're now in FSUA arcade mode, and if you've got a lot of games, it's going to take a few seconds to load up the images for each game. Okay, so in this case, I should be rotating the left-hand side of a player one, but this is actually set up for player two. If I press my D-pad again, as you can see, the character is on the right-hand side, which signifies player two is moving. I don't want this, so I'm going to press the start button equivalent on my Xbox controller. And under input options, if I press A on keyboards, I'm going to stick to joystick port, and I'm going to move this down to X input controller and if I come back out and something else I want to mention is that we can actually use bezels or themes within FSUA so here we go we're on the FSUE website and this is for the current version as well as previous versions as it says starting from 1.3.8 so all we need to do is just download the .zip just here, say Nightwolf theme, and I'm going to copy this piece of scripts just here, or code. And what I'm going to do next is do exactly what it says. So I need to extract the theme I've just downloaded. So we're just going to take this out. And what it's telling us to do next is just go to Documents, and in the FSUA folder, we're going to find a themes folder in here. If we just drag and drop that one inside, and then go to open up FSUA again. If we open up Launcher this time. And from here we're going to go up to the Amiga tick. And just drop down the settings. And we're going to go to Advanced. And you'll find Quick Underscore Settings just here. If I just click beneath that and paste that piece of code in. And I'm going to just close out of here. And if I then open up a game. And here we go, so we now got this really awesome theme applied, which is the Commodore 1084 Monitor. And of course, we can also open that up in arcade mode. So if we go into arcade mode. And I open up a game from here. Now, if you're inside of FSUA playing a game and your controller doesn't work, you can actually press F12 on your keyboard and that's going to bring up the FSUA menu. And you can then use your page up and page down just to go to input options and swap things over. And here we go. And that's it for today's FSUA and arcade mode setup guide. So in retrospect, FSUA 3.0.5 is just capable of running most Amiga games, just as the most recent release of it. So don't let that put you off. 
as you can see the arcade mode works really well for me here and it should work well for you too and also try implementing different settings from the FSUA theme website I'll leave the link in my description you can actually get different themes for this but I'll leave that up to you to do anyways if you liked today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media I'm on Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok but until next time, stay retro.